Yo, 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 yo. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV. We back with another Diddy video. Yeah, take that, take that. That part. Diddy 2 now. We back with a part 2. So before we start this video, smash that like button. <clears throat> Do me that favor because it's free. It ain't going to cost you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Because I don't know what you're waiting on. It's a lot of smoke still going on at NYC with Diddy. We're going to talk about it. Keep your notifications on to share the video. But most importantly, smash that like button. It's free, y'all. So yesterday I did a video on Diddy. <clears throat> Obviously, that was the breaking news. Everybody was going live, doing videos. Everybody doing that. That's the trending topic right now is Diddy. But see, my question is, is Diddy taking a, is Diddy's the the one getting blamed and taking a downfall for the ones that's more more powerful? I don't want to say more powerful, but basically more powerful in the industry. Is it more people involved and Diddy is the one they putting the blame on? They getting them up out of here because they feel like probably Diddy got too much evidence on other people also, and they probably want to get Diddy out. And I'm gonna show y'all because Suge Knight spoke on that. Well, he didn't speak on it. Suge Knight actually put a tweet out. And he's saying that they raided their house. They raided Diddy House for other reasons. And we're going to get to that. That's the reason why I put in the title. But the question is, is Diddy being a downfall guy? So before we start this clip, let's get this copyright fair use disclaimer out the way. You can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on is for educational and entertainment purpose. Again, copyright fair use disclaimer. You can find that on my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on is for educational and entertainment purpose. And the clips I play are also owned by the original creators. So we're going to get to it, man, because it's a lot of things going on in this Diddy case. See, a lot of people, you know, we got the, the narrative that they raided his house for sex trafficking, human trafficking, all types of other stuff they saying. And the breaking news came out today that they actually arrested, allegedly, some guy that are supposed to be selling or supposed to be Diddy, um, um, Diddy drug dealer. So, I mean, Diddy drug um, dealer. Some said that Diddy was getting this. His drugs from a legend. Everything we speak on is a legend. But that was on a, that was on a trend too, also. That was all over the news today, all over the websites. They arrested some Caucasian kid, some Caucasian man. And yeah, we got that. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> Did he this the guy that um, Brendan Paul, 25 years old, supposed to be the guy that was allegedly was Diddy, you know, connect. If you want to say it that way, he was the connect. He was the plug. And there's pictures back in the days with them two hanging out. You know, stuff like that. So is this true or are they just making this up? See, we don't know. They saying they arrested Brand on um, Brendan, whatever, and he got caught with some, you know what I mean, some, some some marijuana, and he got caught with some of that, you know, some of that white stuff. That's what they said in Miami when they when they when they actually arrested the guy to, today or yesterday. Like I keep telling y'all, this is deeper than what people think it is, man. I'm starting to think that it's starting, it's like another Cosby show going on. They got Cosby years later. Because let me tell you something, when you kumbaya and, and you get you get you get um blamed or you get accused for the stuff that you actually getting accused for, and they're trying to prosecute you and prosecute you on that in court, there's other people that was with Diddy at that time. Let's get to that part. Am I lying? What are we talking about here? There's other stars and celebrities that was with Pete Diddy messing with them. Underage girls, alleged. Everything we speak on is alleged. We don't know if it's true yet. But there's other celebrities, other people in that industry also that was kumbaya with Diddy. So I don't want to hear that. That's one of the reasons that make me starting to believe that. That's why, because like I told y'all in my, my last video yesterday, Diddy's a street smart nigga. He's not dumb. He got rid of a lot of that stuff a long time ago. Laptops, computers, all that. Do that shit in the sea, all that stuff. You think he's still going to keep that type of technology and evidence and equipment and all that in his mansions? After that Jeffrey Epstein shit went down and, and then the Casey and all that shit, you know, he just had to settle with that girl. So you think he didn't get rid of his stuff? Computers, laptops, all that stuff right after that? Come on, what are we talking about here? Did it got to be smarter than that, man. But they might have raided his house for a reason, though. Because I'm trying to tell y'all people, if you got drug dealers that can pay police off in the hood to give them 
updates and give them a heads up when the, when the boys are coming and all that? Am I lying? What are we talking about? How many times, how many cities we got drug campaign? We got we just got regular drug dealers that paying these cops off. So you trying to tell me the hires up people that's over Diddy or people that's around Diddy don't got no type of connection with the feds or nothing like that? What are we talking about here? Exactly. They might have sent their homeboys from the feds. Yo, go up in there, get that shit up out of there, whatever Diddy got of us. Whatever evidence he got with us mingling in the kumbaya with him and all that, yo, raid that shit, get that out of there because we ain't trying to get jammed up. These are the people that's in the same stage as Diddy. I'm not talking about no regular mojo nine to five ass nigga. I'm talking about people that got money and they powerful with Diddy in the industry. They got fans that they pay off too. What we talking about? And everything I speak on is a legend. Let's get to, let's get an update for the news clip though. Let's continue. Top local story right now in the raid on Sean Diddy Combs, L.A. residence by federal agents. This is a story that we broke here on Fox 11. Mario Ramirez is outside of his Holmby Hills home right now with the latest developments for us. Good morning to you. Good morning. Quiet right now, but it was a chaotic scene with federal agents rushing into the home here behind me. There were two separate raids, one here in this upscale neighborhood, the other in Miami, both connected to a federal sex trafficking investigation. Take a look. Fox 11 was the first to show you the raid here locally, led by Homeland Security, heavily armored federal agents making their way into the home on Mapleton Drive, associated with rap mogul Sean Diddy Combs and his production company, Bad Boy Films. Dozens of agents searched the property for hours hours leaving with boxes of evidence a similar scene at the miami beach property listed in his name as well the properties raided in connection to a sex trafficking investigation although department of homeland security officials haven't named diddy as the focus the 54 year old has been at the center of several sexual assault and sex traffic uh, sex trafficking allegations in the last year that's something variety's executive music editor has been covering extensively listen let's continue like this for years, for decades, about this kind of behavior from him. Um, I don't know whether they're true or not. You know, yes, he could be an unpleasant person. That is, that is w widely available on video. A lot of really successful people can be. Um, innocent until proven guilty, one would hope. And you can see him here, this video from TMZ showing the hip hop producer pacing outside of a customs office at a Miami airport after the properties were raided. And this was also after he was reportedly stopped and questioned by federal agents moments before. Coming back out here live to the raid that was here in Holmby Hills yesterday, we did see a few people being detained by authorities, reportedly Diddy's two sons who were questioned and released. Reporting live here in Holmby Hills, I'm Mario Ramirez. Back to you. Smash the like button. Do me that favor, y'all. Smash that like button. It's free. It ain't going to cost you. Smash the like, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you have subscribed. Because we're talking about this smoke that's going on with Diddy. Take that. That's what's going on. So, y'all heard that guy at the end was speaking that a lot of people like Diddy, they play that role. They look innocent and all that, but behind closed doors, like Diddy, obviously, with the clubs and all this stuff that he's doing, house parties and, and private parties and all that with these underage girls, allegedly, and other females that's claiming them, and, and they're trying to basically prosecute this nigga with the foolery he was doing. That's what a lot of them be doing. It ain't just Diddy. Let's go to Diddy neighbors. Now, they got two neighbors they interview. Well, one of them they interview, and the other one just popped up on the, on the mic and started talking. Allegedly, these supposed to be his neighbors. Let's get to it. Man, tell us stop bringing all the miners over here late at night. I live right next to him. He do too much. He be like, he be like buses, like big ass buses. You just see all type of shit hop out. Especially at nighttime, like around three o'clock in the morning. It gets wild. I'm his neighbor. When my basketball go over there, I just let it be because I don't want him out on the door. He said, when my basketball go over there, I just let it be because I don't want to knock on the door. Yo, that young boy crazy. So we don't know. We don't know if these are neighbors or not. But he's saying late night, it be some young girls pulling up in the bus and all types of shit. He said he off the chain over there. Diddy's off the hook, man. Nasty work out there. I'm trying to tell y'all. Let's go to the next one. 
raiding his home in Miami. Homeland Security has not yet released details or named Diddy as the focus of the investigation. The 20 year old Ryan Mendelson, he's lived nearby his whole life and he often visits his best friend just a few doors down. But I've seen one once a week, girls lingering outside. I drive by a lot um, and I see that a lot of girls, maybe five or six girls outside, some leaving, some not, some going in, black suburbans. Never know. I never thought anything of it, but now this is crazy. I mean, as we br so you got this young boy right here saying that you know he always he, he basically he's a neighborhood kid. He's a neighborhood dude. He live in the neighborhood. You got the other kid that say he be seeing he be seeing chicks young boy young chicks. They see this is the thing we don't know if they under age or not. They might be 19, 20, 21. Or I mean, over age. But at the end of the day, they still younger than Diddy. Diddy's they he a grandpa to them. Let's get to that part. I'm lying. So you got these two people saying that they seen chicks come out of suburban but suburban trucks, whatever, and all types of but is they telling the truth? We don't know. We don't know. Right now, Diddy supposed to be out on the island somewhere. He supposed to be. And another thing, he shit. He's look at this. Look at this right here. Diddy sells off his revolt TV shares to an anonymous on buyer, basically meaning that whoever he sold he sold his share to. It's somebody that he rock with, and they're not telling nobody. They keeping it. They keeping it. They keeping it. They keeping on the low, basically. That's what they doing. So something got to be going on here. If Diddy, if this is true that Diddy sold his share of Revolt to an anonymous person, the anonymous person is basically somebody that Diddy rock with, so he could get that later on. But see, if Diddy beat this, how can I say this? If Diddy beat this case, because we all know Diddy gonna have to top the one of. The, the best lawyers you could you could offer, you know that. That ain't no, like what we talking about. But my thing is, if he beat the case, he's not gonna be the same. His career is done. Everything is finito. Out of here, done. I mean, it's, 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 he can't be the, he can't be the did he used to be because of all these allegations. Fans going to damn like, it ain't gonna be the same, bro. So even if he do come off on this, pause. He gonna have to just get away somewhere and lay low. Because bad boys is over. Number one, you ain't gonna sign, you ain't gonna be able to sign nobody. You haven't signed nobody. Bad boy haven't been popping in years. Number two, you, all these allegations got your character looking bad. And number three, his career with his sponsors and business partnerships and all that going on with other people, that's out the window and out the door. So even if he beat this case, he's still gonna have problems trying to trying to get back in the loop. And he's gonna spend mad meals of beating this. So, I know y'all heard me speak speak about Suge Knight. This was Suge Knight had to say. People, the raise today wasn't for Diddy. It was for destroying the incriminating stuff of powerful men. You know what that mean? That mean basically they was coming to destroy evidence. Kumbaya and with Diddy. They wanted to go there and destroy that and just in case Diddy tried to put them on a spotlight like him. It makes sense. And this coming out of Suge Knight. This coming out of Suge Knight. And y'all know Suge Knight don't like him. Y'all see the hashtag. Epstein, Diddy, Clive Davis. Allegedly, this was Suge Knight is saying. They raided Diddy House for other reasons. To incriminate, to get the, to get, to get the evidence and out of there, out of Diddy House for other powerful men. Candace Owens, she said the same thing. And she said this before Suge, they both said at the same time, basically. She said, they are raiding his home to hide evidence, not to find it. That's how this works. That part. The last two sentences, that's the most important. He's going to be the fall guy. That's all they doing with Diddy. Diddy's the fall guy. Like I keep telling y'all, shout out to Neighborhood Talk too, man. They keep me, they keep, they keep their school, so make sure y'all go follow them. But at the end of the day, Diddy is the fall guy. Because like I keep telling y'all, people that get caught in these allegations, they're not doing this shit by themselves. They kumbaya with other people effing around them. Other powerful people. You think them powerful people won't get caught up in this Diddy case if they rape? Like I go back and told y'all like just five minutes ago. You got regular dealers. You got regular people in the streets that pay off cops. They give them heads up and do dirty work for them. What make you think these powerful people or people in the industry that's with Diddy don't got no feds that work with them? Upper lawyer enforcement. Now I know regular your local police. I'm talking about feds and better. 
they keep about one, two, three, four of them on a the, on the payroll. A legend. Everything I speak on is allegedly. But what make you think that them people that got that bread, like Suge Knight said, them powerful men, don't got them type of people on the payroll? Go raid Diddy, all three of his houses. Get, get, get the evidence out of there, whatever they got. Of us. We don't care about Diddy. I'm talking about of us. Get that sh out of there. And that's what they probably went to go do. It makes sense, though, bro. It makes sense. If y'all look at Suge Knight tweet, Suge Knight is one of the main niggas in the world that want Diddy locked up. But what's right is right, wrong is wrong. And, and Suge Knight been in the industry. He know how these niggas play. And I'm lying? What are we talking about here? Suge Knight know how they play. They killed Diddy with that hug with R. Kelly, though, right? <laughs> Yo, they ain't had to put that picture, though, right? They ain't had to put that picture right there. But Suge Knight might have a point, though. They might have raided Diddy House just to get the evidence out of there for other powerful people that was cool by Yon with Diddy also doing allegedly doing the stuff that he's getting accused with. It's nasty work for Diddy, man. Peep this out, too. Diddy got raided by the feds on 27th anniversary of Biggie's album, Life After Death, in the year 2024. Biggie was killed at the age of 24. Ain't that a coincidence? Smash that like button. Do me that favor and share this video. And subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, smash the like button and share this video. Let's get this in the algorithm, man. This right here, I ain't gonna lie. This this right here kind of this I was kind of I was like, yo, whoa, this is crazy right here. When I read this and I said I couldn't believe it to be honest. I'm like, yo, the hold up. And then I'm thinking about it, I'm like, yo, they play like that though. That's the thing y'all gotta understand. That industry play games, they play by the numbers. And if people know about them numbers, they know what I'm talking about. I ain't getting in all details in it because I don't really get deep into them numbers. But people know about them numbers. And they play with them numbers, man. The six, the three, three, threes, and the six. Y'all already know what it, already know what I was going with that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Hmm. And all this has happened in 2024, right? 27 years from, from, from Biggie Small's life at the death. And he died at 24. Woo. Listen, I, I listen, I ain't no. What's, I'm just saying, it's kind of it's kind of mind blowing when you think about it, though. Am I lying? Mm -mm -mm. This might be the rise or fall of Diddy, man. It, it, it might be over. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. It might be over because I don't see how he gonna come back from this, y'all. I really don't. I really don't see how Diddy gonna come back from this, man. Because this is crazy. It's nasty work. Hold on, we got one more. We got one more. Give me one second. Yeah, we got one more. Give me one second. Where is that? There you go. Nasty work out here, man. This the God I want to know where the hell he at. Like, where your boy Jay-Z at the end of the day? But like I keep telling people, man, Jay-Z is the one that's trying to take over the goddamn whole, the whole New York. And I and somebody called, somebody had hit me, right? And it was like, yo, bro, you forgot about Fifth. You know, Fifth is one of the niggas that's trying to take him down too at the end of the day. And you know what's crazy? 
I kind of thought about it, but the one that runs New York really is Jay Z, Rock Nation, and, and Diddy right now. But Diddy's out here, so all the business gonna go to Rock Nation. But like like Fifty said, he said now that it's, it's Diddy's do it, Diddy's done. They don't come like that unless they got unless they got a case. And Fifty right, Fifty absolutely right. If y'all read down the bottom, Fifty said that they don't come like this unless they got a case. And I said that in my last video. I said that. And you got this nigga right here. He hiding somewhere. You don't know where he at. He laying low. I told y'all the allegations against Jay-Z is back in the days. He married. He married with B now. They've been married for, for, for years already. So them back in the days allegations, that nigga got married quick so they won't come back 20 years later from now and start saying that he started doing the same thing Diddy was doing. But see, we, we don't know. We really don't know. We really don't know. Like Fizz said, they're they not going to come like this unless they really got a case, bro. This nigga don't sold half of his share. He's on a plane somewhere on a goddamn island. They raided his house. Should nice saying they raided his house for other reasons. Poss I mean, I'm not saying Diddy's innocent. I'm just saying, though, they came for other reasons also. He's a downfall guy. They come to they come to destroy the other um, the other evidence, the powerful people that allegedly that was around Diddy, Kumbaya and doing the same thing. That's what they came there for. What are we talking about? Little C's, you know a lot too, nigga. Your ass better get up out of here, your damn self. I'm telling you, everybody that was around Diddy, man, y'all better lawyer up. Y'all better lawyer up. I'm telling you right now. Because Diddy the downfall guy, he, and they came for other reasons. There was other powerful people around Diddy doing that foolery too. That part. What are we talking about here? It's crazy. Big, big homie should nice said it, man. And I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. People are like, oh, why you believe Shug Knight? You know, Shug Knight. Number one, Shug Knight would been in that. He was in that industry. So he know how they play. He know how they play in that industry. Number two, Puff was trying to get rid of him because he couldn't go anywhere without Shug still be in the industry. That part. What are we talking about here? That's why they had to get Shug up out of here also. Puff couldn't be Puff with Shug still being in the industry. Am I lying? That's why I believe Shug. That's why I believe him because he know Puff, man. He know Puff more than anybody or than anybody watching this. And me too. He know Puff. And he know the industry. Suge ain't stupid. That part. So for Suge to say that, I kind of believe it. It's like 85, 90% I believe what Suge say. And then you got Candace Owens, Owens, even though Candace be talking crazy, but she be speaking some facts though. We're not going to say and act like Candace don't be having some facts. And she's saying the same thing. They are raiding his home to hide the evidence, not to find it. That's how it works. So Puff might get off too. We don't know. We don't know, man. They came to destroy all that stuff, like Shug said. What y'all think? Comment below. Let me know. Y'all think Suge got something? Y'all think Suge got a point on this? Because we know that people like Puffy don't do that shit by itself. I right, might be in the goddamn room, but as far as a party, no, there's more people in the party with him that's doing the same thing. What are we talking about here? So that's why I believe big homie Suge when he said that. We're not saying Puff is innocent. We're saying that there's other people that was around Puff. Exactly. Comment below. Tell me how y'all feel. Let me know. Y'all think that Shug got a point on this? Especially Candace Owens. I mean, Candace Wilson, man. She said the same thing. Candace Owens, she said the same thing. He's a downfall, man. He's a down man. He's a fall guy. Puff's the fall guy. He's a fall guy so that they could, so they could protect the people at the top of the ring. You heard what she said? So they could protect the people at the top of the ring. Smash that like button. Do me that favor. And everything we speak on is alleged over here. But Candace got a point and Shug got a point. I don't put it past her because I like I keep saying, this nigga wasn't doing that shit by himself. 
He wasn't kumbaya and doing all that by himself. It was other people with him. Y'all best believe that. <laughs> Y'all best believe that. But he's a downfall. He's the he's the fall guy. He's the he's the one that they gonna now nah, we put on Diddy on this because Diddy, you know why they doing that? Because Diddy was too open with his. He was too, he got too comfortable. That's a better word of saying. He got too comfortable and he was going and he could and they probably told they probably warned this nigga a thousand times. Stop, bro. You gotta slow down a little bit. Diddy probably didn't want to listen. It's 2024 and Diddy still was doing that shit. So it kind of makes me believe that what they're saying, Candace and Shug, it's a possibility what they're saying is true. They probably warned Diddy, told him, stop, nigga. They probably warned this nigga five years ago, six years ago. We don't know. And they probably warned him when all that shit went down with Epstein. We don't know. But it seems like that's what's, that's, it seems like you put two and two together, that's what it's looking like. Them niggas in the back end, up top, up there. Yeah, yo, Diddy, letting that nigga know. He ain't want to listen. He ain't want to listen. Sometimes you feel like you put, sometimes you feel like you powerful to other people sometimes. Or sometimes you just hard headed and you don't want to go by what they telling you. But Diddy should have known that better. They done had your back for years, nigga. The people right here that Candace Owens talking about, <laughs> the people at, at the top of the ring, yeah, that part. They've been holding your ass down for years. And your ass should have showed, your ass should have slowed down, pause. And your ass wouldn't have been getting caught up in the situation, pause. So that's your fault, on Puff. Because I think them people told your ass to slow down. And you ain't want to slow down. You still want to kumbaya, be wide open with it. And look what happened. So now they got to send their connects, raid your house, get that evidence up out of there. And now that's where we at right now. Because they're going to make sure all that shit comes down on Diddy. They're going to make sure Diddy don't say no names. If he even go that far. Y'all get what I'm saying? Because like I told y'all, Diddy got lawyer money. We, he going to get the best of the best, nigga. <laughs> but... That might have been a whole front. They probably did a fake raid, destroyed the evidence. Did he make believe that he took off somewhere? We don't know. You know how these people play, man. It's like a script. Like Candace said, man, that, it, it, it felt like it was all just, y'all get what I'm saying? Like it was a script, like a movie script. But that's how they play. They make it look like that. Make it look like it's a raid, boom, boom. Make it look like they put little handcuffs on, on behind his two sons and all. Y'all get what I'm saying? So they could get rid of that evidence. But in my belief, I believe Puff got rid of that evidence a long time ago. Whatever evidence they're talking about on Puff and other people. I think, he, listen, he's not stupid, bro. Puff ain't no dumb dude. Smash that like button. But I want y'all to let me know how y'all feel. Comment below and tell me, do Suge Knight and Kansas Owens got a point on this? Is Diddy's being a fall guy to cover up other powerful people that was around him, kumbaya, and doing the stuff that he was doing, that he's getting accused of? Is that the possibility? Don't forget, Suge Knight was once in that industry very heavy. They feared that man, so he know how they play. And he was in that industry for years. So don't forget that. Don't sit back and act like big homie in the in the in the cell block hating. No, he just he just tweeted out something that's real. Cause he know how they play, allegedly. So y'all comment below and tell me. I think Suge and Candace got a point. Even though we know that Puff is a wild dude, we're not saying he's innocent. But what Candace and, and Suge said kind of kind of makes sense. I believe Suge by 85, 90%. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That boy been in that industry. He know how them boys play in them parties and all that. He know about all that. 50 no two. That's why 50 said they, they came for a reason. They're not going to come that heavy if they ain't got no case. But see, they could come heavy and the case could be light during the trial. Meaning that the evidence they got going to end up fading away or they just don't got none. It's real spooky, man. Nasty work right now for Puff, but we're gonna see what's gonna happen when the trial starts. Oh, we don't know. We don't know if it's a trial, but we don't know if you're gonna get prosecuted too. So we don't know what they got right now. 
but it's going to be nasty work, though. Either way, if Puff beat this, he still can't bounce back from this. He can't be the same Puff he was for the last 20 years. I'm sorry to say, now, nah, I just broke it down to y'all a while ago. People staying away from Puff after this, after if he beat it. And if he beat it, they're going to mess around that nigga with some tax, tax, some to tax, something with taxes. And so, watch, wow, there's going to be some BS, bro. I'm telling y'all niggas, this is how they play, man. This is how they play. But comment them below. Let me know what y'all think, man. Do Shug and Candace got a point? Is he the fall guy for the powerful, for the allegedly powerful people that he was kumbaya with, too? And they just, put, they grabbing him, huh? You the fall guy, nigga. We told you to calm down. Your ass ain't want to calm down. So, here, take that, take that. This is what you get now. Is that possible? Comment them below, smash that like button, subscribe and share the video. Do me that favor. Most importantly, smash that like button. Y'all already know. It's your boy Smoke News TV. If they know, they know. Salute, gang. I'm up out of here.